It's a, it's a, it's a weird world when Donald Trump ends up being the savior. But I think like people just started to realize how fucking crazy everything is. I mean, look what happened. Biden was an idiot. So anybody well, talking to him was like, what are we doing business with these guys? Look at who's running them. Let's be honest. There were lots of people, like millions and millions of people still, right? And yeah. what, what's crazy is all the people, how much the whole world really cared about it. Like how the whole world, this was. every was single one. country was talking about it on social media. Like this is the biggest election in the world. It's basically the leader of the free world. I mean, it's as much as we all want to say, you know, this and that, it's just America, we're separate. No, whoever runs the country, the largest economy in the world is the one who basically gets to, di to dictate, you know, how the rest of the country's uh, economies are going to be. At least that's how we view it, right? Well, they get to control the currency. That's the real thing, right? If that's you don't huge. control the currency, then, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to tell everybody else what to do, right? That's yeah. that. This is one of the big problems out there. But this is, I, a, I think, a win for the world, which is weird that Donald it's hard. Trump, right? It's hard to say that, you know, because everyone right now is talking about the tariffs. And obviously, he told us personally on the show that he's yeah. going to tear off the heck out of us yeah. and that he's going to be taxing anything that's crossing that border that he thinks is already in the U.S. and doesn't need to be crossing the border. So well, or um, that they can produce there. Exactly. That's I what I just said. the key, right? Yeah. yeah. So is that what that's what. That's exactly what I just said. Oh, okay. You said it better, Daryl. Thank you. Obviously. And so, you know, to me, there's there's obviously some some issues with that for the Canadian economy. But I do agree with what you said there. As a, as a global economy that's heading into recession, that we got all these issues, like we need some leadership. We need somebody with a good business sense who's going to, you know, prevent the wars, who's going to be uh, creating more trade, who's going to be looking at this as a, like, let's just face it here. If everyone, this is so like, nobody wants to hear this opinion, but everyone, if everyone just lets America do what they want and run the world, the world would be a better place. No Say one likes that to hear again. that. Say that again. If, if we America, let them run the place? If they can just do what they want to do, if they can just oh, trade with who they want to go with, dictate policies in certain okay. areas, let them do their thing, it'll have this sort of like harmony amongst the world that'll keep everybody in check, that'll allow us all to be able to be, you know, free. I mean, think about if the world did cooperate. There's so many countries that we could be doing business with that we're not doing business with that we could benefit from. There's a whole bunch yeah. of conflict out there that's inefficient, that's wasting money. Like war is crazy. Even though the States is going to force everyone to use 2% of their uh, budget on their uh, on their armies, and obviously Canada's not doing that. So the, the States really does have a um, uh, a good grip on on on. on uh, the control that they have on everybody's country on, on what they're, they're spending and their policy and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if we're all bickering, right, nobody's working together, like, is this really a, a, a global economy that's going to go forward? And we're not in the same economy that we were five years ago. We're not in the same, like, this isn't 20 years ago. This is like a major difference. There are so many new industries and there's so many new obstacles and there's so many new um, opportunities for people to be able to uh, take on in the world. And, you know, we got to cooperate. And I think Trump is, is going to do that, in my opinion. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird world when Donald Trump ends up being the savior. But I think, like, people just started to realize how fucking crazy everything is. I mean, look what happened. Biden was an idiot. So anybody well, talking to him was like, what are we doing business with these guys? Look at who's running them. Trump's smart. Like, he even had Kim Jong-un uh, or ill, or I can't remember which one he is. Yeah. <laughs> Un, the um, uh, dictator of North Korea, meeting with him and talking to him about business and stuff. Sorry, Daryl, my mustache, the glue has been it's dissolved gone. from gone. my lip sweat. Gone. Uh, he's even got the North Korean he 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 had people in line. That's for sure. Yeah, he had people's He'll respect. Get China in in order. China wants to do business. They don't want to go to war. Just give them Taiwan and whatever other countries that they're saying are belonging to them, and move on with life. Like I'm sorry, nobody wants to hear that in Taiwan. I know. Shout out to my friends in Taiwan. Well, so going back to what you were saying, by letting them do whatever the hell they want. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't totally disagree because it, it appears that people left without uh checked authority do some pretty nutty shit right 
Yeah, we, we, but, I mean, but, but they're not trying to take over Canada. They might try to take over Mexico. I don't know. I've heard some rumors. But they, they're not trying to take over Canada. They've got sort of like economic control already. They're not going overseas to take anybody over. They just want to make sure that they stabilize regions, steal a little bit of oil, you know what I mean, drain some of their resources, whatever, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, they're not going around killing people unless there's a war that, that needs to be had. So if everybody can just control, and this is a totally uh, personal opinion of mine today in November 2020, 2024, 2024. This could change soon. But based on everything that I'm, I'm, I'm aware of right now in the world and how crazy things are, nobody wants people to control them. But if we're leaving everything up to them to uh, make their own decisions, we're causing a lot of problems. Like, comment, and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good.